Hello, welcome. I am Naresh. In this video, I will show you how to add a custom field to the request type. First of all, let me uh, go to service management project. So this is our Atlassian request. Let me go to project settings. Let me go to request types. So these are all the request types which we have created in our previous video. So let me go to a new custom field in Jira software portal group. So currently the fields are like summary, description, attachment, priority. And I want to add one more field uh, to here. So that is custom field name. I want to add a new custom field. The field is custom field name. So to add a custom field to this request type, first of all, we should have that custom field in our Jira instance. Actually, uh, that custom field uh, is not there uh, right now. So let me create uh, a new custom field. Let me open a new tab for creating custom field. Click on custom fields. Click on create custom field. So here uh, we are having several types of custom fields uh, among which uh, let me choose advanced and check whether text field read only uh, let me click on all let me choose a type text field short text so I think short text is uh, relevant uh, to this use case. So let me write custom field name. Name of custom field. Great. Let me create this. OK, so now I have created a new custom field that is custom field name custom field name so this is the new custom field this is a short text so i need to add this custom field to this request type so if you click on request let me go back okay so in jira software portal group i am clicking on new custom field but if you see the if you see on right side so that field is not available for us uh, to drag right so if the field is available here we can drag that field to here and we can click on save changes thereby we can add uh, that custom field to the request type so uh, how to add a custom field here so for that first of all let me click request type again so this is our new request type or this is the request type where I need to add the custom field. If you see the issue type here, this is service request issue type. So I have mapped this issue type with this uh, request type. Therefore, this request type uses the screens and workflows of the service request. What does that mean? So if you want to add a custom field to this request type, you have to add that custom field to this issue type in the screen scheme. Great. So what an what a uh, brilliant idea is this from Atlassian, you know? So such a beautiful ITSM tool is this. So let me quickly go to summary. So let me click on screens. So actually in this project, uh, uh, each issue type is having only one screen scheme, but in actual use case, uh, uh, we will have a different scheme for each issue type, okay? So change is having one uh, screen scheme, uh, incident will have another screen scheme. So like that, we will have different schemes for different issue types in our actual uh, use case, like in our, our organizations. So, but here, uh, uh, each issue type is having only one screen scheme. So let me add uh, that uh, issue, uh, that custom field to this uh, screen scheme. Let me click on create issue screen scheme. So here you can add the custom field name. 
so this is the thing let me add this custom me let me add this again custom field name yeah that's it so custom field has been added to create issue screen and actually create edit and view all three operations are having same screen therefore uh, we need not to add the custom field to edit issue and view issue screens because all three operations are using same screen but in our organizations we use a uh, different screens right edit issue is having a separate screen view issue having a separate screen so therefore you need to add uh, um, the, the custom field to all the screens of three operations okay so now i have added that custom field to this so let me go to request types again let me click on new custom field here right boom see the magic the custom field has been appeared here why because i have added the custom field to the service request okay so keep in mind that you need to add uh, this field to the issue type which is mapped to the request type then only you can see the custom field here unless and otherwise you cannot see that custom field so right now i am seeing this custom field therefore i can simply drag that field to the request type and just click on save changes yes therefore you can see that uh, on the portal so let me show you the portal now so let me open this in new tab right actually uh, we added that custom field to new custom field request type in the jira software portal group if you click here you can see the field see my dear friends custom field name you can see the new custom field here so let me quickly go to the request types again let me click on new custom field so now let me quickly uh, yeah portal suppose uh, actually summary is a mandatory field okay people have to add uh, the summary this is must and should because this is a required field or mandatory field so if you want to make custom field name also a required field or mandatory field simply you can go here just click on this arrow and here just check this required box okay so no need to uh, change field configuration to make a field as a mandatory field usually in jira we use the field configuration to make a field as a mandatory field but as far as coming to portal if you want to make a custom field as a mandatory one simply you need to go to request types and you need to click on request type and thereafter you just click on the arrow and just check this box that's it such a simple thing you just click on save changes therefore you can see required button here so what does it mean now the custom field name is mandatory field if you go to the portal now you can see the star symbol let me refresh this see the magic so now the custom field name is a mandatory field let me try this test okay so i don't uh, type here let me uh, leave this let me click on send see here please provide a value for required field custom field name so this error will come here test if you click on send see request type has been created okay and i will show you again i am going to atlas in so i will ask the jira admin to create a new custom field for me okay so let me write thing create a new custom field
category okay so the category field so i am a customer or i am the user of the jira instance so i need a new custom field the name of the custom field is category the category should have options options like dev testing and ops please create and they will give the name of the field here okay so if they want uh, to attach any uh, attachment they can simply click on this browse option and uh, browse button then they can add the attachment here and they simply click on the send button okay so i am a customer or i am the user of the jira instance so i need a new custom field for my team so i asked the jira admin uh, I'm, i am requesting the jira administrator to create a category field so i have written my request and just click on send button so this is my request okay this is my view as a customer or as a requester or, or as a reporter so i am seeing this as a request so this is the user interface for me so now i have turned to jira admin now i am jira admin so see here this is the queue now if you click on queue there you can click on all open so here you can see all the requests raised by using the portal of the atlassian request so now i can see two requests one is test one another one is create a new custom field category if i click here so this is the view of jira administrator or the view of the agent the agent is the uh, person who works on the uh, customer's request okay so this is a view for me i can see that create a new custom field category the category should have dev testing please create okay so so now this is open so now i want to start uh, the work on this okay so i will change the status so if i change the status now see here on the portal customer sees that yeah customer knows that yes oh, jira admin has started the work on this okay request so customer will know about this so if uh, if uh, i want to uh, communicate with the customer so i can simply click on reply to customers keep in mind that please use reply to customer button if you want to communicate with the uh, customer or the requester of the ticket let me write this hello can you please suggest a description for custom field so you can so jira admin is asking the requester for the description okay if i click on save so now if i refresh this so see here now the comment has been come here okay so and at the same time the request will get email notification also okay so every time he can't uh, uh, sit and open this request right so he will work on some another things therefore jira will send an email notification to the requester about this uh, comment okay so and if i use this add internal see i am a jira administrator now keep in mind that now i am a jira administrator instead of using reply to customer if i use add internal note okay hello can you please review my previous comment comment okay let me save this see this is the internal note so internal notes cannot be shared with the customers so internal notes are designed to communicate with the agents only this is for internal purposes okay so you cannot share or you cannot communicate with the 
customers are requesters by using this internal note option let me go to the portal again you cannot see that comment here if you i am refreshing this see you cannot see that comment here why because you said that as a internal note internal notes are designed to discuss or uh, to communicate with the internal teams only suppose i have a jira admin if i want to discuss on this issue with my fellow jira admins or with my team members or with my managers or something like that i need to use internal note okay internal notes cannot be shared with the customer okay if you want to communicate with the customer you must use reply to customer my dear friends you cannot see uh, these options in jira software issues okay so you are uh, you can only see uh, these two options on jira service management issues only okay so i am refreshing again yes see there is no uh, uh, update uh, from jsm about uh, my second comment okay hello can you please review my previous comment so you cannot see that because that is a internal note so instead of uh, internal note i'll add a reply to customer now okay just i am using reply for differentiation okay now i have commented by using reply to customer if i go to the portal let me refresh this boom see here now the comment has been shared with the customer got my point okay that's it about this video so if you really love this video just click on the like button and if you want to get updates about our videos you just click on subscribe button Okay, thank you.